issue of regionalism of um, different security outfits coming up in the regions, and many people have expressed concerns about the regionalism of these outfits being created that eventually were, were sliding into anarchy, and that the, the, exi the existing federation as it stands as Nigeria, with the creation of this regional security outfit that we stand to express an anarchy. Do, do you agree with that, Mukta? I sincerely agree with you. I don't believe we are right for state police. I don't believe we are right for regional police. I don't believe because of the mentality of the average Nigerian politician. And what's the alternative you, to all of this insecurity and banditry and kidnap is going there? There's an alternative. Get yeah. your security apparatus on guard. These guys are not spirit. These guys cannot be well trained than our military personnel. That's what I keep saying. How effective is our military? I mean, because at the end of the day, are they, are they, the, are military, they well the military has well a challenge. Equipped? The challenge yes. of the military, the president knows, but he's also living in denial. Look, the military as it stands now are living, there's, there's a lot of rivalry within the military because when you have a service chief that is supposed to have, not that he's supposed to have left this, this post as a chief of army staff, he's supposed to have retired. And if he doesn't retire, there will not be promotion of the next people. So what we are seeing now is some people that are due for promotion cannot be promoted. So how do you, how do you think there will, there will be motivation to go out, to fight when I know I'm due and somebody is still there and his tenure is still being extended, even after spending the mandatory 30 years in service, he's still being extended because he's the chief of army staff. And the same chief of army staff can come on national daily and say, even if you remove me, it's not going to stop terrorism. That shows that it's a problem. Now, Aisha, there's been, uh, there's been... Okay, you want to say something? Mm, yes, I need to say Please. something about that because I differ in terms of when we're talking about the security apparatus of the nation. Yes. I believe it is half time we have community policing, it's half time we have state policing, regional policing. It's okay. The thing is that if we say that we don't want... Uh, the, Nigeria is not ripe for security apparatus to be in the hands of politicians, is the president not a politician? He is a politician. And the whole security apparatus is under the federal government. Yeah, I think under the, the direct... This, That's a they might be hijacked for, 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 it, for political reasons. Yeah. I mean, is, is the press, is the, at the official, at the federal level, are they not hijacking it? Haven't we seen pol uh, election being be militarized? So are you saying that it's better for the federal government only to hijack it, if that's what we're thinking? The thing is that we need to have this across board. What for me, it's, it's not acceptable, is for groups, like what we saw in the North, where certain group came out to do the uh, Shege Kafasa. That, it's not acceptable. The governors can come together and form a we can have pol a, a, a community policing at different level. How do we spare a place whereby, for example, at Boko, uh, the fight against Boko Haram today, you can't do anything. Even if Shekau is here that you can kidnap you, you have to call Abuja to get instructions from Abuja to be able to do something. How does that work? When you're talking about community policing, the people on ground, look, we already even have policing committee. What do you, the vigilantes that we have? Today we have, there are places that the police will not go. They will not dare to, but the vigilantes will do that because it's their own place. It's their own home. If you're talking about crime, crime, criminality, people on ground, it's all about in, intelligence, that intelligence guide. People on ground know who is who, who is doing what. They're able to trace these criminals, like you say. So they'll be able to work more. If I'm not in my community, I know I'm going to protect my people. I will work hard. So on the issue of saying that, oh, because uh, politicians will not be, the president is a politician. Right now, our security uh, apparatus is under one politician. And so let's have different politicians. Right. Have let's take a look at the call.